What's going on everybody? Glad you could join us for some sports on this Sunday evening. There aren't many ways to top the weekend North Dakota State baseball is having. Down in Hawaii, soaking in the sun, and of course, playing some ball. The only thing they needed to make the trip that much better was a win against the University of Hawaii. Let's show you what happened. Bison dropped the first two, but we're looking to salvage the weekend series. Bottom of the second scoreless, Dallas Durrett reaching on an error, and Adam Fogle advancing from second to third, and that's setting this up. Matt Wong, the two RBI single, making a two nothing Hawaii. Breaking the ice under the sun. Same inning, four nothing. That's Tyler Murray with the RBI double, making it five zip, and the Warriors go on to win 11 to three. From one diamond to another, where softball took down Longwood earlier today on the road, fourth straight outing for Paige Vargas of two or fewer runs allowed, and she did it with 99 pitches. Down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, North Dakota fell to Samford 3-1. Emily Barnett threw seven innings of one-run ball for the Bulldogs while striking out three. That only run for UND, though, came in the first. And not long after, the Fighting Hawks remained at Tiger Park, squaring off against LSU, who scored in all but the third inning. Fighting Hawks only had two hits. Not a bad senior day for NDSU Wrestling, taking down Air Force 31-6 at the Shack for their sixth consecutive duel. All four Bison seniors won their match, including redshirt senior and 10th-ranked Andrew Fogarty, who had a pin. SDSU is up next for the green and yellow at Frost Arena on Friday. It's that time of the year if you're an NBA fan, All-Star Weekend. After the skills competitions the last few nights, it was time for the last festivity of the event, the game. And it was Team LeBron against Team Giannis. These two were captains last year. Second period, Team LeBron up 12 points, but how about Giannis with the nice dunk? And then a minute later, Chris Paul missing on the three, but Devin Booker covering it up with the nice one-handed dunk. LeBron's fired up, and why not? Check that one out again. A little later, missed shot, but check Giannis out, going all the way into the stands, and then the blink of an eye, left corner of your screen, where does he end up? Right under the hoop, making it look easy. And they've taken the lead, 133 to 124. Let's go to the Summit League. NDSU shares a tie for first place with South Dakota State, who hosted Purdue Fort Wayne earlier into the first half. Cameron Benson with the nice little lay-in. Mastodons up 10. They take that marginal lead into the half. A few minutes into the second, 36-35 Purdue. David Wignett giving SDSU their first lead since the beginning of the game, and they are fired up. Under three and a half minutes remaining, Jack Rabbits up 20. Douglas Wilson. Opening some eyes, 17 points in the game. They go on to win 75 to 64. Switching gears to golf, North Dakota State's Amy Olson was on the other side of the globe this weekend, competing in the ISPS Handa Women's Australian Open. The Oxbow North Dakota native didn't disappoint, finishing second on the leaderboard behind Inby Park at 11 under. All her rounds ended in a score under par, with the first one being the best at 5-under, followed by the last at 4-under. Out of the three LPGA tournaments since the start of the new year, this is the first in which the former Bison made it past the second round. Guys, I don't know about you, but talking more baseball, more golf, it's getting me in a spring mood. Sure here. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying, bring it on. Yeah. Bring it up fast. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jackson. Clean up aisle 